as the sun rays pierced through the skies above the sprawling slum near Luzira prisons, George William Waliko gets ready to begin his day at 6.45 a.m. Since every day comes with a new challenge, 61-year-old Waliko, also known as Chiviri, recites a prayer. He was nicknamed Chiviri because he used to have a lot of hair, but age is weathering it off. After reciting his prayer, Chiviri dons his coat and heads off to and save lives at Bugolobi stage near the junction to the market. Chiviri is a taxi broker, but before he embarks on duty which requires dedication, he first helps children cross the road that is always busy during rush hours. Chiviri says that what he does is a calling from God because in 1986, when he was a taxi driver, a child was knocked at Kiswa about 200 meters from here, forcing him to offload the passengers and take the child to Mulago Hospital. Why are you not going to get to the He abandoned his first job of driving and concentrated on saving lives here, a service he has offered at no cost for over 25 years. Majority of the boys and girls who have grown in all corners of Bugolobi and use this route have gone through his hands. Indeed, some of the cars are too fast on this road and a few motorists respect the zebra crossing which has also faded away. When Kivili is not there, we face many problems here. To cross it was not easy. Chiviri made a poster, described save life for the new generation, and it is what he raises before blowing a whistle to stop cars heading to and from town. Despite the hurdles of life reminiscent of Kiviri's life, he is an NRM diehard, and yellow is a color that he will never disguise. He is a popular man in the area that is one of the upscale lavish residential places of Kampala. And from here, some of the children he helped cross are all grown up and very influential in society. But to Chibiri's disappointment, a few of these children have come back to appreciate his efforts that go with sheer determination and endurance. After all children have crossed the road, Chiviri embarks on his other job, calling for passengers, and it is from this that he earns a living. For every taxi in which he persuades about four passengers to enter, the touts give him between 200 to 500 shillings. It's mid-morning, time to re-energize. Chiviri heads to Bugolobi market for breakfast. As hunger continues to bite, his patience increasingly diminishes when the waitress takes long to bring his favorite accompaniment, bread. <laughs> Chiviri spends 1,500 shillings on just breakfast because he cannot find a cheaper place in Mgolobi, a suburb dominated by the rich. <laughs> Chiviri earns between 5,000 to 8,000 shillings daily, but when his wife and four children are around, he spends close to 10,000 shillings on food. The wife, who is a casual laborer, also contributes. 4 p.m., Chiviri gets back to the road to help children cross from school. He does this for nearly two hours and until there are no more children to assist. He then gets ready, heads home using a taxi. Most of the touts do not charge him, but at most he spends 500 shillings on transport every day. He then jumps the gutter to his home and strolls through the narrow gully between the mud walls of the neighboring houses. He hardly locks his house because he has nothing much to lose. First, he organizes his room, which he shares with his wife and children. He then sorts his yellow t-shirts and changes only before heading to the drinking place near his home. 
Chiviri hails from Rakai district at the border of Uganda in Tanzania, but may have nothing to take back home after years of serving humanity. He boasts of having gotten peace during the NRM regime, but his life remains uncertain because he failed to take all his children to school. His last born, sitting in this chair that also doubles as his bed, wonders whether he will join his colleagues for senior one due to lack of school fees. Chiviri drinks from near his place where he catches up with big timers to drown their problems, sipping a local brew commonly known as Mara. Although he can only afford to buy his problem relieving liquid, he remains positive to save lives on Port Bell Road, Bugolobi, until he dies. His passion to see others live translates to true patriotism. Still be our hunger, NTV.